My name is Sergeant Joe Balo, B A L O G H, with the Rosemont Public Safety Department. Uh, earlier tonight, at approximately 7:08 p.m., our department received uh, multiple calls for gunshot victims inside the mall here in Rosemont. Our department responded. Uh, numerous vehicles, police response, fire response, uh, were dispatched to the scene. The scene we have two confirmed victims. Uh, both were initially critical and were transported to local area hospitals. One victim in the mid 20s, male, was pronounced at the hospital and is deceased. The other victim is a 15 year old female who had gunshot wound to her right wrist and is in stable condition. A possible third victim might have left the area. It's not confirmed at this time, uh, but witnesses say there might be a third victim who has left. Uh, what we are looking for is possible two offenders, males in their mid 20s. They have left the area uh, in a red vehicle. Uh, our officers are currently uh, interviewing witnesses and reviewing surveillance for this vehicle license plates and identification of where that vehicle uh, traveled. Currently we know that the victim or the offender is not on site. Uh, the offender has left the area. This area is still an active crime scene. Uh, we have multiple areas within the mall that are being taped off and will be uh, closed off for the immediate future. Uh, we have number of search teams inside the area that are clearing the mall. The mall has been initially cleared and is being back cleared uh, for multiple reasons. Um, we are searching for additional witnesses. We are searching for other um, civilians who might be in the area. We have numerous locations that have been identified that victims are, or excuse me, not victims, but civilians are within the mall area and are staged inside stores. So we're getting to all those individuals. If they are reaching out to family, we do have reunification sites at Caddy Shack across the street. So if families are coming to the area, please head to that area, Caddy Shack in Rosemont. Anyone who leaves the mall will be directed to that location to unify with family members. Um, at this time, uh, we have no further information. We will be on site. The mall will be closed for the immediate future uh, tonight. Uh, unknown how long we will be on scene here, but uh, a number of officers will be uh, have a high presence here at the mall. Uh, obviously, you guys have probably seen a number of officers on the exterior. We have uh, just as many, if not more, searching the area inside uh, the mall. So at this time, um, we are not taking any questions, but anything further, we will update you guys as soon as possible. So we appreciate it. We want to urge the public and let them know that uh, this area is safe. This was an isolated inc incident. Um, there was not an active shooter here at the mall. Again, it was an isolated incident that took place where the offenders have left the area and are no longer on site. So, thank you. Uh, we have uh, the area of the food court uh, and we are trying to identify if there are other locations within the mall that were uh, affected by this. Yes, she was in stable condition. Any further questions, we're going to update the media and the public on our social media, so stay tuned on our uh, Twitter, and we'll have updates as soon as we know them. Thank you.